Hi, I'm Yasmin Cohn, an ICSP member from Portland State University, and today I will be talking about the history of Pauli. But before talking about our topic of today, I will tell you where I'm from. So, I'm from Côte d'Ivoire, which is a French-speaking country located in West Africa. Without further ado, let's learn more about the Bauli. So, who are the Bauli? As you can see, the Bauli is an ethnic group located in the center east of Côte d'Ivoire. It is one of the oldest ethnic groups in the country and their dialect is the most spoken across the country. How did I arrive in Côte d'Ivoire? You will understand that from the story of Abla Poku. Abla Poku is the queen that has created the Bali tribe in Côte d'Ivoire. Queen Abla Poku was born in the Ashanti Kingdom of Ghana and she was the niece of the Green King Osei Tutu, founder of the Ashanti Empire, which is a matrilineal society. As the tradition recommend, after the death of King Osei Tutu, the brother of Ablapoku Dakon took power and became the new king of the Ashanti Empire. However, this decision has been rejected by certain group of people. The controversy created a war that caused the death of Dakon, the brother of Ablapoku. The queen Ablapoku, fearing for her life and her family, decided to flee the kingdom with her guard and allies. She Ignore that this decision would have changed her life forever. After walking for several days and nights, they arrive on the shore of the Comwe River, which is located at the border between Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire. Knowing that these water were very dangerous, they were confronted with a dilemma to cross or to face death. Then she looked at the wizard and asked what sacrifice could be made to the genies of the river in order to open a way. The wizard replied that only an offering of what was most dear to them would convince the genies to create a route. Having heard that, the women of the court, including the queen, started to take off the cherries for offering while the men decided to give the livestock. They give all the material thing they possess. There, the wizard stopped them and insisted that what was most dear to them was their sons. At the moment, the queen untied her son from her back and said, Kwaku, my only child, forgive me, but I have understood that I need to offer you to the river for the survival of our people. She then screamed to the crowd, more than a woman or a mother, a queen is first a queen, and then, without shedding a tear, offered her only child as a sacrifice to the river. Once the offering was made, a path appeared along the queen and her people to cross. Some historians claim that a big tree bent over to let the queen and her people across, while other versions state that a group of hippopotamuses lined up a path. Once the river was crossed, the queen said, Bauli, meaning the child is dead. This became the name of the people, Bauli. This is the end of my presentation. I hope that you learn more about the Pauli tribe and thank you for your attention.